Well, I think they see us. Hello, friends. This is Cold Run. Welcome back to a blind playthrough of Elden Ring's Shadow of the Erdtree DLC, where we are here with nothing in our hands except our, our old fists. And that is because uh, y'all pointed out a weapon that I have now buffed up, even though I haven't read anything about it, uh, to plus 25. The Dry Leaf Arts, which I just didn't notice. And it's got to give me the thing that uh, Dry Leaf Dan, Dry Leaf Dan, Dry Leaf... <laughs> <laughs> Dryleaf Dan says like an old timey like traveling salesman. Dryleaf Dane, uh, who is uh, the person we killed last time, probably killed, uh, probably ninety nine percent killed. Uh, so let's take a look at this first of all. Thank you for pointing this out. I, I would have a hundred percent missed it. And we got the hat. Yeah. So what does the what do the Dryleaf Arts do? A technique for hand to hand combat without the aid of a weapon. Uh, combine fist kicks and s fist strikes and kicks. The teachings of a group of spiritual seekers known as the Dry Leaf Sect, revealed only to those of worthy valor and character. The practice of this martial art marks the dawn of an ascetic's journey. So it's a whole group. There's definitely other Dry Leafs out there. Maybe we'll meet like Dry Leaf Susan. It's palm blast, skill of the spiritual seekers known as the Dry Leaf Sect. Imbues hand with explosive with energy before using a palm strike. To unleash an explosive blast. The already formidable power and impact can be bolstered by charging the attack. So... Bop. But we can also just bop. Oh, look at that! Look at this shit! I don't know if this is good at all. This might be terrible. We're gonna try it out, though. I don't... Oh, shit! I... I was about to jump off to my death. And I was ju jumping off to my death because actually there were, I wanted to check out something down there. How do we get there? Have we been there? I don't think, I, mean, I guess we go for up from the bottom. Squirrels and deer and just all kinds of wildlife. And you know what? This hat we, is no longer appropriate because we don't need blood loss and we don't need to hide our faces with a mask anyway. We can hide our faces with this hat. All right. God, there's a lot of wildlife right here. Like an unusually large quantity. Who are you? I don't know. That's marked on my map to explore later anyway. Uh, anything around the side here? No. Just a lot of spirit graves. Roll, roll, roll. The ancient sheep technique. Ladder ahead. Seek up. Thank you. Uh, I actually think I will seek up. Up is probably a more terminal path. Okay. Nope. Just punching my fist against a wall like a frustrated pitcher. Ash of War Wing Stance. Calmly assume a right-sided stance. Normally attack normal attack triggers a rapid three slash combo. Strong attack triggers a leaping thrust. For light greatsword. So we can keep messing around with Milady then. Okay, and where do you lead to? The cliffside here. Oh, is this just a, a different way down, I guess? Why would they give me this little shortcut thing? Beautiful, praise the Elden Ring. It's not that beautiful right now. All right, so, well, no, actually, I take that back. I 100% I, I take that back. Good Lord. I forgot. Okay, my bad. 
What's over here? Enemy ahead, I believe you. Where is this? We've been... This is an area we've explored. Yeah, that's like the bridge of doom. I think? What's the point of this? I've been sitting here looking at the screen for a long time, waffling on where to go next. I'm going to go for this map. I think that's the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to head back to the Elak River Cave, turn up here, go for this map, and see what that uncovers. Let's do it. Very dark area. Oh, Screech Bats. Range, uh, this may not be a great idea. Oh, that's a punch. Wait, what was that? Why did I get... Oh, it's probably an attack bonus from uh, my... Yeah, that's an, uh, the winged amulet thing. Winged talisman thing. All right, are we going the right direction? Yes. What do you have to say? Boss ahead. Really? I believe you. I actually do believe you. Do we want to lose 200,000 runes? No, we don't. Let me... Well, I can't really... Yes, I can. I can do something about this. Let me level up, like, mind or something again. What are you? Oh, you're one of the, these things. Okay. And what are you? Oh, you're literally nothing. No hidden path. Okay. All right, let's actually rest up. Rest up, level up. Now we can die without fear. That may not be a boss ahead. It's very possible that was lying. Strong foe head. Never mind. That's the second thing we've seen. That is cool. I like this art. Oh god, rat. Look at this! All of a sudden, this has become like Sekiro, except using the um, the skills I never used in that game. Like the the Sempo the Sempo arts that I never touched. Anyone play with the the Sempo arts? What did you think of it? Boy, I like Sekiro. Even if I was terrible at it. All right, what's coming? Is this a, a one of those? Uh, yep. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, that was a nice hit. That was a nice hit by it, too. Yeah, roast me in your fires. I somehow survived. Nice. Oh, not then. <laughs> I thought I timed the roll correctly. It was a little slow. I'm going to swap this in for holy defense. For swap my magic talisman for the Halig Drake talisman. Just stay away, okay? Hmm. Dodge.
Yep, heal and good. Should probably just be using a fire weapon, but I wanted to try the punching. One, oh, headbutt. Good hit. Get away, get away, get away. Oh, not too far away. Tail whip. Oh, it's... Oh, shit! Oh, I got really lucky there. Oh, nope. Bad mistake. Mistakes were made. I was the one who made them. Hmm. Again, I'm, I'm getting caught up in my R1 spam and when I should be rolling more and prepping to roll. Again, I get caught. I'm hitting the button, but I'm locked into the prior attack animation. Okay. I fought you so many times and I'm still bad at it. No, I can't do the slow punch of the punches on this. Good, got it that time. Good. Uh, nope. Into you. I thought I rolled. I really thought I hit that. Just a millisecond too late. Yep. Tail whip. Uh, back away. Okay. Can we finish it off? Probably not. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I like the punching. I quite like it. Horned Baron. What was the last Baron that we got? Before we look at this. It was a talisman. It was an item. It was a talisman or an item. This I'm going to use, by the way. Godskin swaddling cloth. Uh, let's pop that in. For this especially, that's got to be great. Omen Baron. Use FP to unleash wraiths that chase down foes. Omen babies have their horns excised, causing most to perish. These were memorialized. Don't hate me or curse me, please. What is the horned Baron then? This is an omen baron without the horns excised, I guess? Doll Tanglehorn baron. No, this is just a different baron. Tanglehorn. Are the Tanglehorns related? I mean, the Tanglehorns have got to be related to the horn scent. They got the thing on top on this. Tanglehorn Tangled horns are a, spirit of spir a symbol of spirituality, but most young born bearing the oversized horns made a frightfully early demise. These fetishes are made to memorialize them. So it, you can't even see the face because it's just covering them up. Ugh. Hanglehorn. That, I think that's the first time we've heard that term, isn't it? First time I remember, anyway. More rats. Just checking for caves in case there's something I missed. Oh! Look at that charge attack. 
So how much HP do successive attacks restore? A decent amount. They restore reasonable HP. They really do. Oh, hi. Uh... Nope, 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 nope. Oh, yeah. Look at this nonsense. This is so good. I'm not convinced on Palm Blast being all that good, by the way. The timing seems really tough to figure out. Yep. You are sick. And I mean that like you actually seem pretty sick, I think. Yeah, like it feels like it just does more damage to just hit with R1 and it's less risky. I guess it stuns them. And so that's good. I like stunning them. Oh, the grab! That didn't look pleasant. These are some fear and hunger ass enemies right here. Oh, nope, run away. Nope, nope, god dang it! <laughs> okay. Uh, nope, just let me heal. Let me do something. Let me do anything. Nope, I can't do anything. Okay. I got surrounded. That's my bad. Palm Strike is... Whatever Palm Strike is good, that was not one of the circumstances where it's good. Unless it's secretly like an AoE great attack, and I just haven't been using it that way. Maybe uh, maybe I'll see if, that, if it does AoE damage. I don't know. Take two. Again! <laughs> oh my god. Just keep hitting them. Just keep attacking. Don't give them a moment to charge up their friggin' thing. This whole area seems kind of gross, doesn't it? This is a, a pile of fly bodies. A literal heap of dead fly things. With silver horn tenders. Which again seems to indicate some kind of like civilization, the presence of some sort of civilized whatever. Hickley campsite, yeah, this is a great campsite. Um I think it's just a message. I'm not gonna worry about it. All right, so we're coming up to this. We can turn left into the lake, unless that's, like, an actual lake that we can't swim in. Or can't walk in. Yeah, fork in the road. Let's turn left. Well, let's check out the middle here. We got sheep. Waterfall crab... crabbo. Do we fight crabbo, or do we not care? I don't think we care. Sheep we let live. Very important to let them live. Ca really? Cave ahead? Okay. Do I trust you? I don't think I trust you or not. It's a matter of... I don't think it's a matter of trust. It's a matter of this is something we were exploring anyway. So let's keep a, an eye out. Gorgeous view. It is a gorgeous view. Well, it's really not a gorgeous view. Nope, never mind. It's a gorgeous view. What am I looking at here? I'm looking straight ahead that way. I guess I'm seeing like this thing, whatever that thing is. Oh, cave, cave, 
cave, cave. We found a cave. Okay. All right. All right. Glad I came this way then. What cave are we looking at? The river mouth cave. Heck yeah. Lost Grace. We found the river mouth cave. We found a thing. We did a thing. We found a thing. Okay. Let's get ready to punch some things. Hack ahead. Doggo. Hello, pupper. Punch the dogs. Yeah, we're doing a great job punching the dogs. Reminds me of that very first cave we saw, uh, the one that has like just swarming with dogs, the one that, right as you get out of the uh, the elevator that lets you see the world and the tree sentinel. Hello, pupper. Yeah, martial arts against wolves. What are you saying? Oh, you died. They got you. Liar. Okay. So we got to up decoy ahead. Yeah, there's a bunch of so everything. Every time it says a liar ahead or decoy ahead, it probably means there was someone saying there was a message there saying like secret path ahead. Wait, what does it say? Behold up dog. Is there a dog going to jump on me? Hi, dog. Oh, and there was a dog upstairs. One punch, two dogs down. A flawless attack. So this is linear so far, I think. Was there... Where else do we go from here? Not there. Where am I missing? We came from there. Do we go here? Or do we come from here? We must have come from here. So left then? No, not left. Not here, not here. Wait, what? Where do we go? We climb. Maybe? How do we get up there? Through this? We climb here? Yeah, through here. Okay. Hole. Yeah, this is... I mean, I'm, even if that didn't say a hole, like, I see that it's going to crack and crash us through. Uh, all right, let's do it. That has gotten me enough times that that was a, a pretty obvious one, at least. Like, that, that always gets me, and even I wasn't tricked by that one. Why is this blood red now? Why are there blood and bones going into here? Oh, no, we got pack ahead. Be wary of listen carefully. Church ahead. It sure seems that way. Those are the things that were fighting the uh, fighting the Mesmer people, right? How are we gonna do this? Visions of it? Yeah. How are we gonna do this? There's a lot of them, like a crap load of them. Do we have to? Come back. Don't disturb the church. Let's fight over here. How do we do this? It almost feels like the kind of place we would usually have access to a uh, spirit ash. How do we deal with the oncoming anarchy that's about to take place? Huh. 
I'm looking for any gimmicks or tricks or anything that we can do. We can lure one by one to some degree. Holy crap! Did you see how far that thing flew back? Not sure that's sustainable, but that was cool. I think we just go, right? We just go. YOLO. Stick my hand right in its backside. Well, I think they see us. No, not you! Uh, how do we escape? This way, right? Not escape, but make it kind of a, a narrower fight. Nope. I don't know what's happening. Okay. That was... We Wait, is there a... Did I see a golden door there? There's a golden door. There's an actual boss fight beyond this. Okay. All right. This is interesting. There's some range on this. I don't think I saw that before. Not that much range. Never mind. It might have just got might have just gotten lucky just then. So we can go run right to the right. I didn't even see this before. And we can go up. This is a whole new path. Yeah, I, I don't know if we're supposed to fight the whole church of them. So wait till it gets in range and then... And then strong attack for the dogs. So this is a way back out. No item ahead, you are immediately a liar. Oh, you were a strong one. Okay, we can just punch and kick down the dogs. I really am liking this art, so thank you for pointing me to it. I would... I, I had just missed this entirely sacred bloody flesh. Have we seen this before? No, this is new. Boost physical attack power and arcane once. Attack power boosted further when blood loss occurs. So it boosts arcane physical attack power and then your chance of getting a blood loss. And then once you cause a blood loss, more attack power. These are blood fiends. Okay. Raw meat soaked with blood, the delicacy of the blood fiends. Temporarily boosts physical attack. Yeah, yeah. The blood is said to have fallen from the... The formless mother. That's Moog, Moog's, uh, Moog's goddess. The formless mother's wound. Never will it dry, never will it rot. Huh. And that gets us to here. Seems familiar. Yes, it does. All right, let's go back down. The Formless Mother is the Blood Fiend's god of choice, I guess you'd call it. Hmm. I didn't mean that makes sense, given all the blood. So, there was another path we could go, though, right? There was to the right. Where does this lead? No. No, it was really just here. Never mind, this doesn't seem to do a whole lot. I mean, maybe we could, This probably lets us run right to the boss. Do I want to try? I don't want to, though. Like, I want to give it a shot at fighting these things. Honestly, maybe the wrong word for it, but something like that. I just don't see how we get this in any way that's, um... We probably want to... They're probably doing blood loss stuff. Can I do something that prevents it? 
maybe instead of the winged sword insignia, we do... No, we take away off Lord of Blood's Exaltation. Do we have any resistance to blood loss? It's one of these things, right? It's like robustness. Yeah. We'll try that. Oh, yep, you see me. We're gonna- I think this- this has merit, though, this idea of fighting farther back here. Yeah, you don't stun easily, you're uh, big, big fellows. Alright, we'll toss one of these hefty freezing pots. Come to me. And don't wake up your friends. No, they're not big believers in the value of teamwork. Yeah, so the, it does seem to interrupt. Even them it interrupted. Blood Fiend's fork? Weapon used by the Blood Fiends. Three tines of bone carved of carved bone spear the victim to provoke blood loss. A ritual implement for blood offerings to the formless mother. At times the Blood Fiends will spill even their own blood using these forks. For barbaric roar, and that's the thing they were doing before. So this is like a strength-based build, or strength-based blood loss weapon. All right, so I just crafted a bunch of these um, bone darts. Let's just toss one of these because I just wanted to pull. Only two left. I have to imagine once I summon this one, the one with the blood fork, the other one's going to come. I'm tempted to just run and get the thing because I'm probably going to die to these. Just I know myself. Yep, they're both coming. Oh, they're doing blood magic. Are they sending blood flies at me? They're doing like formless mother magic. No blood flies. Nope, it's... One's resetting. You're coming to me. It's not resetting enough. No, no, no. Don't blood fly me, bro. Yeah! Oh, I... Nope. Do not die to this. Get to its back. There we go! Yeah! We cleared the church. Was it worth it? Probably not. The sacred bloody flesh. Oh my god, was that really it? That was really all I got it... I did this for? At least we get to explore a little bit now without the panic. Sanguine Amaryllis, six of them. Crafting item? A blood flower with meaty petals, yum. Grown by blood fiends in pools of blood, perhaps even the fiends admire the blood's beauty. It, it really, like, I, I find a lot of things beautiful. That doesn't really fit for me. That looks much grosser. A lot of sanguine amaryllises. What can we craft with these? All right. Who's ready to die? Try parrying. Uh, okay, interesting idea. Weak foe ahead. Didn't expect comfort. Okay, so maybe it actually is weak, but it doesn't really matter. I don't have many flasks left, and I'm not that good. So let's try... Uh, you know what? I'm going to Flask of Cerulean so that if need be, I'll be able to use the uh, Demi-Human Swordsman Yosh. Chief Blood Fiend. Let's do it, Yosh. Okay. 
No! Wrong flask. I had the wrong flask equipped. Wouldn't have mattered, though. Okay. It doesn't seem like it's going to be that bad, but uh, I just got blitzed. Stake of Marika. Ah, I'm so... I forgot about that. I forgot I don't have to actually run the whole dungeon. Lovely. I'm trying to do anything. All right, there we go. Yeah, parrying seems like actually a great idea against this guy. Very big wide swings, but we're just going to try hitting him for now. Oh, yeah. God, that bonker. This is gonna have like a big strength weapon to give, right? That's a way to finish it off. Palm strike. Okay, yeah. Got blitz, not too bad. Blood fiend hexer's ashes. That is an interesting one. Blood fiend hexer's ashes. Somebody consumes HP rather than FP. That makes sense. The spirit conducts bloodborne rituals. Blood boon rituals. Nope. I, great game, but not the, okay. Blood boon rituals with a sacred spear casts blood flame hexes and takes a singular pleasure in letting the blood of foes. Long ago, a subjugated tribe discovered a twisted deity amongst the ravages of war, and they were transformed into blood fiends. The mother of truth was their savior. Mother of truth has got to be the formless mother, right? That's the origin story, I guess, of the, uh, of the Blood Fiends. Just a, a tribe that was subjugated, tried to find any bit of power they could to get free. What did that say? Praise the thief? Tried to find any bit of power they could, and yeah, they went to the Formless Mother. They seem pretty happy with their choice. It seems like it worked out for them. Alright, that's going to be it for me for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this as they come out. And next time, I will keep going up north to see if I can grab this map and check out what this little fort thing is to the left. Bye-bye.